evening, everyone. At least 1,400 people are dead after a powerful 7.9 magnitude earthquake struck Nepal. It is the largest quake to hit the Asian country in more than 80 years. Hina Daniels reports on the search and recovery effort now underway there. The devastating earthquake leveled buildings and flattened the capital city of Kathmandu's historic center. Witnesses describe a scene of chaos and panic as hundreds scrambled onto the streets to get away from the buildings collapsing around them. The relentless tremors are making many afraid to go back inside. The quake toppled temples that have stood for centuries. A 19th century landmark in Kathmandu, the nine-story Darahara Tower has been reduced to rubble. People searched for survivors trapped underneath the popular tourist site. We feel not too unhappy because we were in the middle of the square. But uh, then when we come back here, we feel less happy. Hospitals in the city are so crowded that the injured are being treated in the open. Many are children. Tens of thousands of people will be spending the night on the streets. The Nepalese government is appealing for foreign aid that is starting to come in from around the world. The United States is sending a disaster response team and has pledged an initial million dollars in humanitarian aid. In New York, Henna Daniels for CBS News. The powerful earthquake that shook a wide section of northern Indian and Tibet has triggered avalanches in the Himalayas and killed at least 10 people on Mount Everest.